reform, advocacy, progressiveness, radical, solidarity, ally, radical ally. And you're listening to Radical Ally, your go-to podcast for resources, social services, social justice issues, environmental and health well-being. I'm your host, Grace Alcantar. And I am so happy to be here with you today. And today we will be discussing the coronavirus and its impact. And I think that one of the worst ways that it's impacting us is that it's been affecting um the housing situation for many of us. It's left us in in a housing crisis. But I do want to let you know that there is help out there to pay your rent. And first of all, I want to give you a really great resource. And the number is 211. Again, that is 211. You can actually call this number directly from your cell phone and a live representative will speak to you and they tailor whatever resource you need and um, they can even text you the information of that resource so whether you're looking for food assistance housing assistance employment assistance they can send you the information via text They can send you phone numbers. I don't know if offices are open for you to go visit. Uh, Social services are essential services at this time, so you will be able to talk to somebody. So that's the number one resource for you, 211. And they also have a website, 211.org. The second resource for you is to contact your local city officials. A lot of cities, Hayward, Berkeley, Oakland, San Francisco, San Jose, are actually helping renters right now. They have what are called rental relief funds. They may even have subsidies that can help you pay your rent. So um, I would advise you guys to reach out to your city officials, email, call the mayor, call your city officials. And I am sure that somebody can give you more information. And of course, we are all waiting for that stimulus check So if you haven't completed your taxes, I would advise that you get on the ball with that. If you did your taxes in 2018, I am so proud of you. But please do your taxes now as well, 2019, so that you can receive your stimulus check. You may be able to qualify for up to $1,200. That's right, $1,200. There are services out there that can help you with that too. You don't have to necessarily pay. There is a program called VITA. That's V-I-T-A. Again, that's V-I-T-A. VITA. The VITA program does provide free tax preparation for people who qualify, so check that out. And of course, lastly, I have um, Catholic Charities and the Salvation Army. Catholic Charities also helps people pay their rent, so contact them. And the Salvation Army, I do believe, does a one-time rental payment, so they can also help with that. Uh, That's Catholic Charities and Salvation Army. This information might be a little overwhelming, but I will be including a description of links and I have more resources on the way right after this quick break. Wake up the dawn like a phoenix in the sky My life is driven from some dreams from the stars This song flowing out my veins like rivers for the dams up Grandfather planting the seeds, remember the battle Can you imagine politicians running from the past scenes Like ghosts coming at you with the white rain The time is now, not then Riding on a righteous way while we seek for the rain Bring us through a new day My life is given by the bones that get dug up by the hundreds of thousands Can you imagine genocide being silent? They wanna call it the rapture as they capture our souls. Corporations like to worry about getting. 
A Perfect Day by Anthony Soule and Lutha, also known as Red Star. You're listening to Radical Ally. I am your host, Grace Alcantar. And as promised, I have a few more resources for you guys. I know that this is a very difficult time, and I know a lot of people are worried about housing right now. They're worried about paying the rent for the upcoming months. So I do want to give you resources to some really great organizations that can help you in case uh, you're having any trouble with your landlord at the moment. Uh, Maybe they're not respecting the moratorium, or maybe they're actually even trying to evict you. Uh, So these organizations, I think, can be very helpful. They are called the Tenants Union and Just Cause, which is located in Oakland. The Tenants Union is located in San Francisco and Oakland, and Just Cause is located in Oakland. So these are some organizations that you can contact. They will let you know your rights as a tenant. They know the laws, so they can help you with any problems that you are facing. They're not lawyers, and I just want to mention again that they are not lawyers, so they cannot give you legal advice, but again, they are still knowledgeable and they can help you. Uh, If you're having any legal problems and you do need to speak to a lawyer, I would turn to Bay Area Legal Aid and the East Bay Community Law Center. Again, that's Bay Area Legal Aid and the East Bay Community Law Center. The Bay Area Legal Aid is all over the Bay Area. East Bay Community Law Center is located in Berkeley and uh, different cities throughout the Bay Area as well. And um, they do have lawyers. You can contact them. They should be able to help you if you have any issues right now. Uh, They provide a bunch of different services, consumer help, uh, immigration help. So they are really good as far as uh, being able to give you legal advice. And I believe they can give you legal advice over the phone. And again, I know this is overwhelming, but like I said, I will include all of this information in the description for you to um, have and hopefully use if you need it. And um, yeah, and that's all of the resources that I have for you today. Um, I hope that you will join me for the next podcast where I will be discussing healthy alternatives. And what I mean by healthy alternatives is that right now with the current coronavirus, we're just basically being taught to wash our hands, not touch our eyes, not touch our face. But we need to learn some healthy alternatives, and that includes diet and mental health as well. So I have those tips for you um, for the next podcast. And again, thank you for joining me and look forward to bringing you more information. Take care.